Hello friends, welcome back to Online Chalkboard. We are dealing with Chapter 2 Polynomials of Class 10 CBSC and we have discussed yet far about what is the zero of a polynomial, how it can be graphically represented and uh, what is the relation between constant uh, coefficient of the polynomial and zero of the polynomial and uh, also uh, we d did various problems. I hope you are also practicing many questions. And these videos, if you are finding it useful, do share with your friends. And if you haven't yet seen the previous videos, the link is available in the description box. You can check them. And if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe and press the notification button so that you can get the updates about the, the upcoming videos. So today we would be discussing about cubic polynomial, division algorithm of cubic polynomial. We know the division algorithm of uh, numbers that is dividend equals divisor into quotient plus remainder. We will see the same things follows for polynomial. So let's start with the question. Uh, in the previous classes you know uh, we, we had learned long division of polynomials like if you are given a cubic polynomial you will put a number we find the solution using trial and error method then you will divide that uh, factor and find out a quadratic equation then uh, do split in the middle term and get an, a different rest of the new factors and then find the solution. Here also we will do the same. Uh, let's see uh, a first question. Example 6 asks us to divide 2x square plus 3x plus 1. 2x square plus 3x plus 1 is divided by x plus 2. And we must note that we stop the division process when we get a re remainder as 0 or a remainder which is having degree less than the uh, degree of the divisor. Here we have 2x square plus 3x plus 1 is divided by x plus 2. The first term of the coefficient will be, you know, the highest power of uh, the term. The highest power term is divided by the highest power term of the divisor. Like 2x square is divided by x and we will get 2x. That would be the coefficient 2x. Then we will apply the division process. Uh, that is 2x into 2x, uh, x is 2x square, 2x into 2 is 4x. Then do subtraction. You see 2x square minus 2x is 0x, 3x minus 4x is minus x plus 1. Now again the degree of both of them are same, the remainder's degree is not less than this. We can again apply division process. Before that we will divide the highest power of the dividend here is x by the highest power of the divisor that is minus x is divided by x that is equal to minus 1 I'll write here minus 1 and minus 1 is multiplied minus 1 into x minus x minus 2 we get the remainder 1 minus minus 2 is 1 plus 2 3 so remainder is 3 quotient is 2x minus 1 divisor x plus 2 and divisor is dividend is 2x square plus 3x plus 1. We know dividend equals divisor into quotient plus remainder. So dividend is here 2x square plus 3x plus 1 is equal to divisor here is x plus 2 and we got the quotient here as 2x minus 1 and the remainder is plus 3. So we got here suppose this is a polynomial p of x and g of x we divided by another polynomial g of x and we got the quotient q of x and we got the remainder r of x. So this is the division algorithm for polynomials. Let's uh, get into a more uh, view about if you are dividing it using a quadratic polynomial. If divisor is a quadratic polynomial. Look into example 7. Divide 3x cube plus x square 
plus 2x plus 5 by 1 plus 2x plus x square. First, we will need to arrange this divisor in descending order of the power of x. That is x square plus 2x plus 1. And then we need to divide it. 3x cube plus x square plus 2x plus 5. x square plus 2x plus 1. What we'll do, we'll divide the highest degree term of this by highest degree term of divisor. That is 3x cube divided by x square. I'll get 3x. That would be the coefficient. 3x. Then multiply 3x with each term. This 3x into x square is 3x cube. 3x into 2x is 6x square plus 3x. Then subtract. 3x cube minus 3x cube to 0. x square minus 6x square is minus 5x square. 2x minus 3x is minus x. Then 5 comes down. Now again, since the degree of 5x square is equal to degree of the divisor, we can do division again. We will divide the highest degree term by highest degree term over there. That is equal to minus 5. We get the coefficient as minus 5. And it would be minus 5x square minus 10x minus 5. Then we divide this 10 minus x, 9x plus 10. Here degree of uh, 9x is less than degree of x square. So we can stop the division process here. So here you can see 3x cube plus x square plus 2x plus 5 is equal to x square plus 2x plus 1 into coefficient 3x minus 5 plus remainder 9x plus 10. Here, the dividend is a polynomial p of x which is divided by the divisor g of x and the coefficient is q of x and remainder r of x. This is a remainder r of x. So, this is the division algorithm for polynomials. It's given in page number 34. If p of x and g of x are any two polynomials with g of x is not equal to 0, then we can find polynomials q of x and r of x such that p of x equal to g of x into q of x plus r of x. This is exactly what we had done. If um, a and b are two numbers, integers such that uh, b is not equal to 0, then we can find q and r such that a is equal to bq plus r, where here in uh, degree, where there are two possibility, r of x equals to 0, remainder can be 0, or degree of r of x should be less than degree of g of x. Here in the previous one we have done uh, 0 greater than or equal to r less than b. Similarly here, like we did a is equal to bq plus r where 0 less than or equal to r less than b. Example 8, question asks us to divide 3x square minus x cube minus 3x plus 5 by x minus 1 minus x square and verify the division algorithm. 3x square minus x cube minus 3x plus 5 by x minus 1 minus x square. Before doing this, we need to arrange them in descending order of power. x cube minus x cube minus plus 3x square minus 3x plus 5 by minus x square plus x minus 1. Let's start division. Minus x cube plus 3x square minus 3x plus 5 divided by minus x square plus x minus 1. Highest power x minus x cube divided by minus x square you will get x. It's x here. x into minus x is minus x cube plus x square minus x. Subtract. 3 minus 1, 2x square, 3 minus 3 plus x is minus 2x plus 5. 
again highest power here is 2x square divided by minus x square we have to do it because the degree is same this cannot be the remainder therefore we get minus 2 so minus 2 into this 2x square minus 2x plus 2 get the remainder as 0 0 3 so we need to here now the degree of 3 is 0 and it is less than the degree of the divisor which is 2. So we stop the process here and now we have to prove the division algorithm. That is we need to show that divisor into quotient plus remainder is the dividend. So here the divisor is minus x square plus x minus 1 and quotient is x minus 2. The remainder is 3 that is equal to multiplying each term minus x cube plus x square minus x minus 2x square minus 2x plus 2 plus 3 that is equal to like terms minus x cube this becomes uh, plus 3x square minus 3x plus 5 that is actually the dividend. So we verified the division algorithm for this polynomial after finding quotient and remainder. Hence division algorithm verified. Now let's move on to example 9. Find all the zeros of 2x raised to 4 minus 3x cube minus 3x square plus 6x minus 2. If you know that 2 of its zeros are 2 of its zero, 2 of its zeros are root 2 and minus root 2. This is what is given. Since root 2 is a 0, that means x minus root 2 is a factor and also x minus root 2 is, x plus root 2 is also a factor. That therefore, the product of these two will also be a factor that is x square minus root 2 square that is 2. x square minus 2 is a factor of 2x raised to 4 minus 3x cube minus 3x square plus 6x minus 2. So if we divide uh, this by x square minus 2, you will get a quadratic polynomial. Then you can factorize it by split in the middle and find the rest of the polynomials. So I am going to divide this polynomial by x square minus 2. x square minus 2, I am going to divide it by x square minus 2, 2x two raised to 4 minus 3x cube minus 3x square plus 6x minus 2. Now we will divide this with x square minus 2 and uh, the highest degree, 2x raised to 4 divided by x square. Highest degree here and highest degree and I will get it 2x square and 2x square into this is 2x raised to 4. 2x square minus 2 is minus 4x square here 0x cube subtract here it would be minus 3x cube plus x square plus 6x minus 2 here also highest power minus 3x cube is divided by x square I will get minus 3x minus 3x minus 3x cube Minus, plus 6x so it would come here plus 6x here it would be 0x square by x square remains minus 2 here both power are same so x square by x square I will get it as 1 plus 1 x square minus 2 divide remainder 0 so 2x square minus 3x plus 1 is the other factor of this polynomial so this can be written as x square minus 2 into 
2x square minus 3x plus 1 plus remainder is 0. So now we need to find the rest of the polynomial. So we need to factorize this. 2x square minus 3x plus 1 can be written as 2x square split in the middle term such that we get the product as 2 into 1 2 and when we add it we get minus 3 here the product minus 2 minus 1 is 2 and we take 2x common so I get x minus 1 here I'll take minus 1 common I get x minus 1 and here I can take x minus 1 common out I'll get 2x minus 1 so the root is x equal to 1 or 2x minus 1 so x equal to 1 is the 0 or x equal to 1 by 2 is the other 0. So we got the rest of the zeros as 1, 1 by 2. The other zeros were root 2 and minus root 2. This is the root of the polynomial. These are the zeros of this polynomial. Let's do exercise question. Exercise 2.3. Let's do question number 5. Give examples of polynomials p of x, g of x, q of x and r of x which satisfies the division algorithm degree of p of x equals degree of q of x. We know the division algorithm is p of x equals q of x into g of x plus r of x. This is the division algorithm. Okay, the first part of the question asks us, question number 5, question number 5 asks us to find polynomial which satisfies such that degree of p of x is equal to degree of q of x. We need to find polynomials p of x, q, g of x and r of x which have degree same. When will the coefficient have degree same? You see r a is equal to b q plus r right the degree would become same only when this degree of q of x is 0 because p of x is like um, p of x minus r of x by g of x is equal to q of x right p of x minus r of x divided by g of x is q of x since we need the degree of p of x and q of x same this implies degree of p of x should be greater than degree of r of x otherwise if it is um, mm, equal then what will happen if it is uh, equal then the degree would, of q of x of course will become less than the degree of p of x so it should be greater than r of x and also degree of g of x should be equal to 1 otherwise if you are dividing p of x degree will become lesser than q of x so we need to find such example give any random example where p of x equals we can take x square plus 3x plus 1 and uh, g of x degree 1 that means you can take it as so degree should be not be 1 it should be 0 degree should be 0 otherwise a degree of p of x would uh, get cancelled here sorry degree um, should of p of x should remain same so g of x should have a degree 0 that is a constant you can take simply g of x to be 1 it would be x square plus 3x plus 1 divided by 1 x square plus 3x plus 1 x square plus 3x plus 1 0 so coefficient is g of q of x equal to x square plus 3x plus 1 both are having degree equal so we got a random example we can take any constant value for g of x and p of x can be any quadratic polynomial this is what we need to see for this question now by the next question degree of q of x equal to degree of r of x degree of the quotient should be equal to degree of r of x so here you can take any number q of x suppose it is x minus 2 and r of x is also degree 1 x plus 3 so you need to find let g of x be 
3 x square. So you can find p of x using division algorithm. p of x would be x minus 2 into 3 x square plus x plus 3. That is equal to 3 x cube minus 6 x square plus x plus 3. So we got p of x. Here also, here the degree of both of them is same. Degree is 1. We got a example where degree becomes equal. This is how we randomly put examples. Now the last part is degree of r of x is equal to 0. Degree of r of x equals 0. That means r of x is a constant term. r of x is constant. Okay. We can take any value like uh, q of x equals 3x plus 1, g of x can be 2x plus x square, r of x can take any constant value, 2, 3, 4, 5, any number. So, p of x would be 3x plus 1 into 2x plus x square plus 2 that is equal to 6x square plus 3x cube plus 2x plus x square plus 2 that is equal to 3x cube plus 7x square plus 2x plus 2. So we got a random example for each of these questions. Okay friends, so with us we wind up for today. We'll discuss the rest of the exercise question of exercise 2.3 in our next video. Today we learn division algorithm theorem for polynomials do practice more division problems this would be helpful we'll discussing the rest of the questions in the next video if you find it helpful to share it with your friends and if you have any doubt you comment thank you